How are things otherwise? I mean, with COVID and everything, you have what's what's lockdown. the situation at the moment? Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. We're like lockdown, but the Irish are brilliant fun because, and I love I love this because there's loads of people, loads of I call them COVID wishers. Yeah, and they they're like kind of uh, oh you know they're curtain twitchers. People looking out their blinds and their curtain at people. You know, oh you shouldn't be there. Oh you shouldn't be in this area. Yeah. You need to be because in Ireland you have to be stay within five kilometers of your home unless you're an essential worker. Really? Five kilometers? Yeah, yeah. So you've been inside like five kilometers, like, uh, I don't know, one year now? No. No, uh, no, no, for since January. January. No, yes, January, February, so we're, yeah, nearly March. So we've been like that, but we're allowed to go further afield if you uh, have to go shopping for your food. Or milk a cow. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah, so I got like fucking 20 kilometers from my shop and so I can see shit. Oh my God. But it's like, and there's, everybody's wearing their masks, everybody's doing what they're yeah. told, but the yeah. Irish are like, you know, we, we do like to bend the rules a little bit. And yeah. like they've been finding all these little pubs everywhere in people's houses, like little bars. In people's houses, like a, like a secret <laughs> pubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a garage, like, you know, like the side of the house where yeah, you keep yeah. the cars. Like, and there was a brilliant footage. You see the cops walking in with this camera and there's just all these people just sitting at a table, like about 40 of them at little tables and music's going and he has an actual bar with like beer taps. But I have to say, I mean, like I said, I've been there a couple of times and I probably have met the most nicest persons in Ireland. Yeah, I'd say... Uh, yeah, I think, like, I think the nicest people I've ever met in the world and I've been you know, America, all over Scandinavia, Europe, Australia, like everywhere. But the Irish that I've met... Now, I'm I'm from Dublin, so I'm not a big fan of people from Dublin because I'm from there. Yeah. So yeah. They, don't, they don't feel like they don't have to be particularly nice to me because mm. they are from here. They're still nice. They still mm. go, hello. But Irish people have a bit of cheek about them. They go, hello. And then they go, I bet you think you're funny, which are <laughs> shit. And then they run off, right? <laughs> they think that's funny. But in the south of Ireland, uh, Kerry, County Kerry is my favourite county yeah. and place in the whole world and probably Clare in the west of Ireland for people being nice to each other. And as I said in the past, uh, Kerry people say sorry after every sentence. It's it's sorry. funny. Yeah. So you go, can I have a ham sandwich? And they'll go, geez, sorry, absolutely, sorry, ab absolutely, sorry. Can we have a ham sandwich there? Sorry, sorry, a ham sandwich there, thank you. And they give it to you, they go, sorry for the wait, there you go, sorry. And then when they put down the bill, they go, sorry, there's the bill. They say, <laughs> what the fuck are you sorry for? But that's a Catholic thing. Okay, They're yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for everything. Jesus. Well, yeah, because it's our fault. Yeah, Catholics, yeah, yeah. it's all our fault because we put Jesus up on the cross because we were sinners, so we're sorry. So every day, I mean, they would go to mass as children, and you better be sorry. All he is, tell everybody you're fucking <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so they go around going sorry, 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 sorry. So you must have a, have a like a lot of different accents in in the island. Mm. Which one is the yeah. you think is the most uh, purest way to talk Irish? Do you mean like Gaelic, as in like Tom A? Or yeah. do you mean like the accent, just, just an Irish? Yeah. Or do you mean like the, well, you see, this, see Kerry again, they, they go, they, they, for, for, if, you're, if you're at home and you're bored, mm. uh, which I'm sure most of us are, Google a Kerry man interview. Kerry man right? interview, all right. Interview. And there's a guy from the BBC and he just has a mic in your man's face and it's so funny. <sighs> And your man is literally going, so anyway, I'm not from Kerry, because I'm from Kerry, they talk like this, all right? And he's going, I'm from Kerry, and I've got a little here on my life, and I've got a bit of a shit, and I've got a call the man, let me go to hell. And your man's going, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry, can we have that again? Oh, what do you mean, can you have it again? You knew what I said, I've got a bit of a Kerry, and you're very welcome to come back on it. And it is fucking so funny. And then it's like, it just changes, every county is different, because then beside it we have Cork, and they kind of sing. Well, you so have, they go along like these, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They go, How, how's it going? All right, bye. How are you? Oh, like this is like a sing gun. What are you oh, doing? That was so funny. I, I was watching a, some comedian, uh, Irish comedian was was speaking 
Cork was was imitating Cork, mm. and I I catch the note, and then I was doing gig in Finland, and there was somebody Irish in the audience, and I oh. asked, "What part of Ireland you're from?" He said, "Like I'm from Cork," and then I start creaking, "Oh, you're from Cork," and he was, "How the fuck you know that?" <laughs> That was so got funny. Irish, Irish connections. Yeah, I got Irish. I got Irish cooks and those mess with me. And but the listen, scar- the scar- and, and then the scariest accent, of course, is up in the north of Ireland. Oh, like Belfast. Belfast because of all fucking ding dong, fucking ye, that fucking tail, oh, fucking on the fucking the yeager. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Well, all, all the movies, there. all the movies from the REA and that kind of but stuff. The best yeah. place to go, I think, like, like if you came here now. And we got in a car. I'd love to just travel right over to the west of Ireland because we can go surfing over there. Oh in my Hinge, god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can go and see the cliffs and more, which is like, I think it's, I think it's they 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 named, uh, like it like the eighth wonder of the world or something like that. The cliffs and more. Cliffs and more. Yeah. And then, um, just like it's just the most beautiful scenery over there. And again, the pubs are just great when they open again yeah. like all that stuff is just the best one and an Ireland in the summer even if there's a bit of rain which there does be rain mm. it's still gorgeous and you'll see everybody in still like and the surfing is really good because uh, that part of um, Ireland is where Kelly Slater uh, yeah. was surfing yeah. in the winter in the yeah. winter though he comes and the waves are so big they go over the houses on the shore oh my god they are fu- they like hit the thing and just they swallow the house yeah I like just imagine, I don't know who's in that house, just sitting there going, oh, Jesus, what's going on? <laughs> then Kelly Slater just smashes into their window. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Cup of tea. But that's, the, that's my, that's my favourite place to hang out because I have West- like a, a really cool Airbnb that I kind of managed to make friends with yeah. and now they just, you know, they, I can go whenever I want. Over I, there I love the better breakfast, uh, what you have there in, oh, in, yeah. in Britain, all around in Britain. England and uh, and Scotland uh, bed and breakfast because we don't have the yeah. uh, like that in Finland no like a bed and breakfast place places yeah but it, yeah that's because you need to communicate with the people who come yeah in. we don't so want anybody in their home in our home no Finland. ding no. dong oh shit <laughs> that's <nasty. laughs> fuck could take the B and B sign down off yeah. the front yeah yeah B and B so bed and breakfast and in Ireland. Uh, actually, out in the west in Galway, which is near Clare, yeah. Clare Galway, is um, the the breakfast alone is unbelievable. Like she comes out with a pig under her arm and just shaves <laughs> it onto your plate. <laughs> like it is a uh, huge amount of toast, massive, and uh, like white pudding, black pudding, rashers, beans. <laughs> it's oh. still in Ireland. Like whatever. Even when I go and see my mother and I sit down, my mother goes. Jesus, you're not feeding yourself at all. And she gets into the kitchen and starts switching on all the cookers and the ovens and fuck it. And she comes in with tons of food. And I go, Mom, I do eat. That's a top. What the fuck? So, well, it's just, a, I have a different. Uh, my mother is always think I'm too fat. <laughs> when are you going to lose some weight? <laughs> <laughs> no, but me. That's, you see, that's the Scandinavians, that's the yeah. Finnish. You're too honest. You need to take a little tip from the Irish. Oh, yeah. We've... The Irish people tell you what you want to hear. That's the T-shirt. That's why we are friends, Jason. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mika. You look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs>